on my people how y'all doing and you know what this is to techno hey man you had said something about you just having some problems some issues with that media out on the rolling mc303 well you know what i'm gonna go ahead and break it down today now there's this button right here it's called the shift and you normally hit the shift button and you hit system when you come over here to, to where it says system from that point you hit the arrow let me go back that LOP that LOP1 stands for playing back a song repeatedly it's a song loop so push that over and this right here it takes you into where it says pedal and function that means that if you have a a foot pedal plugged into it if you hit the foot pedal it would change it into the function or this one right here says um, pedal and it's like a and this stands for patterns registered in the currently selected pattern set will be registered one by one as the next pattern I didn't normally do that kind of stuff but uh, this pedal this um, where it says EAP which mine is messed up so it basically means tap the pedal switch will perform the same function as the tap button you know when it comes down to your um, your rhythm is going fast and you hit hit the tap and it slows it down and let me see take it out of that that EPS let me see I forgot what that EPA is oh real time real time uh, transpose that's cool I'll take that uh, here it is right here this is it and remember it's the shift and system at this point here where it says SY1 that uh, INT is standing for the uh, internal sequencer will operate using its own internal tempo clock and will transmit MIDI clock messages if MIDI clock messages are received from an external device they will be ignored so it's in an internal now so when it's in internal that means it's going to it's going to play off its own now if you hit slave here then that means the uh the mc303 is going to be in slave mode so basically if you had another drum machine that was uh midi out to the input of this then you can slave this machine and then it's going to play back in total synchronization now this is the deal so when it comes down to these parts here let me show you something right quick uh and then you hit shift and where's that button okay out now y'all see my buttons is broke right so what to do got to do you got to go and hit okay so you hit shift and you hit output at this point here you got this PR internal stands for the internal sounds of this one if you go to this one that's pattern one internal now if you hit external that means the sounds of the Roland MC3 is going to be transmitted out and then you can hit sometimes I'll do this I'll just send I'll send I'll send a couple of them out you know what I'm saying but I don't want all of my sounds out right now because I'm playing from an external keyboard but um, once again this shift button here you hit this shift button and you hit your out your um, this out output output a sign and then that's going to put you into this screen where you're able to go and uh, transmit either either your sounds are going to be internal 
are you going to send your MIDI messages out? And once again, hit that shift button and that system button right there and go up here in internal. There you go. All right.